once I got that out of my system, I had to get to an appointment for a dating service called the Millionaire's Club. They set up beautiful women with rich men, so I wasn't too shy about going. So are you ready to date? I'm a third generation matchmaker, and my grandmother and my mother were matchmakers. We cater to successful men that want to get into a serious monogamous relationship. There's different degrees of millionaires. Like you were, were married to a billionaire. There are men that are billionaires. There are men that make a million dollars a year. I just require that the minimum amount is that he makes a million, you know, he's certified and has a million dollars in the bank. The men pay anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000 to become a member and to date as many women as they like for the first year. And we'll give you as many dates as you want, as you need, so don't worry. We get new men every single week, and don't go out unless you like them. You know, that's my first thing. If your intuition says no, and you've only talked to him on the phone, it's a no, because it's got to be a match. It just can't be me getting you on a date or getting him on a date. It's got to be right for both of you. And these guys usually work really hard. They don't have a lot of time to date. They don't usually go to the bars. They're not big bar people. They're not players. They're not serial daters. They want to connect you know, in a monogamous way. They can get their own dates, but it's easier to outsource it. For instance, like a company like Millionaires a Club, as opposed to, let's say, um, going out on their own. We're not an escort service. If your mother was gonna fix you up on a date, and she picked the perfect guy for you, I'm more like that. Everyone's saying, why don't you have a date? Why don't you have a date? Well, people don't ask me, so I thought I would take it upon myself to get in contact with this um, a dating service. Tell me a little bit about what type of men you really like to go out with? Someone that's really nice. Um, a big guy that can handle me, you know. Mm -hmm. He can run and jump in his arms, you know, and he can hold me. <laughs> you can feel like a little girl next to him. Yeah. Okay, cool. cool. Calling a big, big guy, guy. like a teddy bear. Okay. And someone that's adventurous. Age-wise? You're pretty open because of the last pretty one? Okay, on the age. Okay. Any things you'd like to do in a date that you've never done before, besides having, you know, just the traditional dinner? Tell me a little bit about your hobbies, okay? So for instance, um, do you work out? Do you, have any, do you do anything to get no, in shape? No, I like to paint. Okay. She got to know me a little bit. Any type of food that you love the best, restaurant-wise? you have anything that's a preference to you? No. I'm pretty open to pretty much anything except for sushi. She could have got to know me a little bit more, but I wasn't going for that. <laughs> If I were to put you on a date and they had to go listen to a band, any preference in that area? I mean, I like um, classical rock. Okay. So like, who's, what's your favorite group? I don't like that head banging. Like the heavy metal stuff. Heavy metal stuff, yeah, that kind of stuff. I, that stuff I don't like. If this doesn't work, you don't like him on the phone, you don't go out with him. You don't like him after the date, you let me know. I will handle everything. This is about finding the right person for you. Okay. Well, thank you so much. When I left the meeting, um, I felt pretty good about getting a date. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you. Patty said she had a couple of guys in line for me, so we'll see how it goes.